Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day 14, Appalachian Trail. I am here at Mountain Crossings, Neil's Gap. And you know, yesterday I got off at Gerard Gap because the storm coming in. Well, I'm going to do something unique today. That storm's pushed back a little bit, even though we got some rain coming in. Very heavy fog, as you can see. I am uh, at Above the Clouds Hostel and they are going to slack pack me today so i'm going to slack pack but i'm going to go southbound so i'm going to go up the hard uh, hardest climb of blood mountain and then i'll come back over and hike down to gerard gap and have them pick me up there so up and over the north side of blood mountain and back down i felt that would be a little less uh, <clears throat> treacherous in the rain so i'm going to give it a go and uh, we're going to knock this mountain out and we're going to get it done Unfortunately, probably not having too many views today unless this pea soup clears up. So I'm uh, going to load up here and get my pack on and we're going to start heading south on my northbound AT through hike. Let's see how it goes, y'all. So we're going to start off the day. The first half is going to be climb, 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 about 1,600 and some odd feet. And then we come down the back side where I was heading up yesterday. So in your seat belts, I'm gonna make one for it. Woo! We got over here. Our AT sign. We're gonna head down here. And we are going to begin our ascent up this way, slow and steady, one stump at a time. So I'm feeling good this morning y'all, I am. Got some rest and uh, had a good couple days of hiking back on trail after taking a break in Helen. And I am still loving this. This is the first iffy weather that's come through. And uh, there's a storm that's coming and uh, probably won't happen till later on tonight. So I'll be up and over by then and uh, through tomorrow, but taking a go of it. And I'm glad I'm out here and it is really pretty. The fog is actually kind of cool on the mountains. So met some more great people. Shout out to Nichols who just passed me by, left me that note on trail yesterday. Buddy, that really picked me up. And uh, I appreciate you so much. Hike on, man. You got this, I hope I see you up trail. And I'm with another bunch of wonderful folks that I met at Above the Clouds last night. So the camaraderie continues. New people every day. And I absolutely just love being around all this positive energy. It's what keeps me going. And of course, you find folks with all your support. So I keep heading down this very moody trail. I want to take a minute to thank the folks in Gallia County, Ohio, the family and friends of Grandma Gatewood, <laughs> who are following my hike and supporting me and offering such great encouragement. I appreciate y'all reaching out to me. It makes me feel humbled. And I've been thinking a lot about Grandma Gatewood lately. If y'all don't know who that is, Emma Gatewood, Emma Caldwell Gatewood, we share she has shared the same maiden name as mine, my last name. Hmm. But anyhow, I've been thinking about her. 
And she uh, was the first woman to solo hike the Appalachian Trail back in the 50s. And I think she was 67 years old. Against all odds, she was out here doing it. And she didn't have all the fancy equipment that we have today. I think she hiked in a pair of kids' tennis shoes and used a shower curtain <laughs> as a rain jacket or a tarp to sleep under. Um, incredible inspiration. And I've been thinking about her lately during some of these tough times and it's easy to feel her spirit out here um so i just it was on my mind i wanted to thank the folks in gallia county um for believing in me and you know it's the grit that gets you going and keeps you going in spite of all odds and that amazing woman certainly had it so today's all about getting up this mountain Grandma Gatewood style, <laughs> one step at a time. Ain't nothing but walking, right? wind is picking up. This is such a cool, cool part of the trail. So cool. Look at me. Look how the trail turned to black. It's kind of hard for the phone to the camera to do it justice, but this is really, really neat out here. I'm enjoying this day. Great snack, y'all. Great snack. This one's helping get me up the mountain this morning. Oh, it's getting fun. Going that way. And up I go. And that's where I'm going. Whew. Almost there, almost to the summit, y'all. Normally there's a hell of a view right here. Y'all gonna have to take my word for it today. All right, y'all. I made it. Right, Summit of Blood Mountain, y'all. Woohoo! What a climb. How, are you doing? How exciting it is, though. I'll tell you what. This here, uh, some other hikers coming up and down. Blood Mountain Shelter is the oldest shelter on the Appalachian Trail. It dates back to the 1930s. It was built by the CCC, the um, Civilian Conservation Corps. And it's a pretty cool building, all stone. Um, a little creepy in there. Got some hikers in there. I don't know if they're staying or just taking a break. But I just wanted to show you the shelter. I've summited blood. Whew. 
Now, Blood Mountain, it is the highest peak on the Georgia Appalachian Trail, section of the trail. 4,480 feet, I believe. So this is officially my first 4,000 footer. I am super stoked. <sighs> now I'm gonna get down off this mountain. All right, y'all, that's a wrap. Day 14, Blood Mountain in the bag. I'm back at Gerard Gap where I got off yesterday and uh, whew, it's been a good day. It's been an interesting day. Wet, foggy, very moody, kind of haunting woods. I've loved it. Um, Blood Mountain's in the bag, y'all. So anyhow, I'm gonna head down this little dirt road and I've got a shuttle picking me up, taking me back to above the clouds. Um, thanks for tuning in. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. And you know what to do now. Stick with me. Y'all keep sticking with me. Because, man, I am going somewhere.